Let's discuss another really powerful tool for your workflow in Vectorworks Spotlight. When laying out a light plot, you might be placing a whole multitude of fixtures. Well, rather than place each fixture very specifically as, you know, one by one as you're going through your workflow, you might just want to get out all your fixtures onto the page. You have a good idea of what's in your inventory. You've got a good idea of what your client's budget is. So you might just want to throw it out on the page and then make order of it after it's there. So what we're going to do is actually use the line distribute tool, which is in the spotlight tool set. So we've already used the select similar tool to select these fixtures. And the next thing we want to do is find the spotlight tool set. You might still be on the dims notes tool set. Make sure you click on the little spotlight icon there for that tool set. And then I've already got the tool selected, but if you're looking for it and you're starting here from the top, it's about halfway down the list. So you can just scroll down and what you're looking for is the align distribute tool. And you notice the icon has a few fixtures. It looks kind of like a miniature light plot there. So I want to select the align distribute tool. There's not a lot of clues here as to what to do next other than what's up here at the top. You can't even set any parameters or settings before you start using the tool, like a lot of the other tools in Spotlight. But what it says is draw a line to align and distribute the selected objects. Seems pretty simple. Well, we have some constraints in this particular project. And the constraints are that we can't actually align, we can't place any lights into any adjacent booth boundaries. So you'll notice that we have these other adjacent booths that we laid out quite a while ago, um, but we know that we're not allowed to place any fixtures within that space or relative to that space. So if we're looking at the, uh, the booth extents that I have here on the right, we're looking at that one point and we're seeing the extension line go down. Basically, we don't want any fixtures outside of that point. And if we go over here to this point, we'll see the alignment when we move vertically down to that hanging position, we don't want any fixtures outside of that point. Well, using the align distribute tool is actually pretty easy. So we could just click on this point here and click on the one to the right on the booth there. I'm gonna hold shift just to make sure my points are horizontal. So then the dialog pops up for align and distribute. And I could align evenly between the points, inside the points, you can even align along a certain regimented order. So every 18 inches, uh, you have another fixture. That's actually pretty useful. Uh, but what we wanna do is just distribute these fixtures um, evenly between the two points. What does between the two points and inside the two points mean? Well, let's take a look. So if I say between the two points and we say, okay, it moves my fixtures and we're gonna to get to that. But what we see is those points that we placed, we place them between the two points. Well, it's placing the first fixture and the last, last fixture specifically on that point. And we know that that actually doesn't qualify for the parameters um, that we've been, or the, the constraints that have been assigned to us. We want those fixtures to actually be inside those points. Well, the second problem that you noticed immediately was that our fixtures moved. So it really does matter where those points are when we use the align distribute tool, it's going to align those fixtures between those points. It'll literally put them on the line that you created um, in your drawing area, the imaginary line. We don't actually see the line reference, strangely enough, we can only click points. But what we wanna do is undo. So even pan or zoom is an undo uh, step so undo a couple of times until you get back to where the fixtures are just sitting on that hanging position We don't want to move them from the hanging position So we want to use a few of the steps that we've learned already um, Using our smart snaps and our smart extension. So make sure that you have Snapping behaviors similar to what you see here on my screen Just pretty much copy that pattern. That's what works pretty well with the workflow that we're talking about right now so we've got snap to object, we've got snap to intersection, we've got smart points, that's the important one. Uh, we've also got snap to distance and also smart edge. We like those smart edges. So 
what we'll do is we'll go back to our space and what we want to do is hover over that first point on the left. We establish that smart point and then we're just going to go down to the hanging position and we'll see that we snap to that object, the hanging position object. So we're going to click on that point. And then we see that reference line now. So if we hover over the, the bottom left corner, even though it says top right there, uh, the bottom left corner of that booth extents there, we want to get that little smart snap, the, the red box. And then we notice when we're uh, moving the cursor downward toward the hanging position, we see that extension line. Well, we want to snap right where that intersection is. And we'll just click there. And the next thing is we don't want to align evenly between the points. We actually want to align and distribute evenly inside the points. So select that little radio button and say OK. And then now you'll see that your fixtures, they cinch in a little bit. They're actually to the inside of our boundary. So the space in between the instruments is actually the same as the space that's on the outside. So your outside points have the same amount of space as all of the space in between your fixtures. Nice and neat, looks actually really good for a light plot when you just tidy up a few things like this, um, nice and organized and easily legible.